Alright, let's try this again. Welcome, boys and girls, to the uh, second episode, I guess, of Dranic Plays Xenonauts. Um, really nothing too exciting to add to that, other than the... Between our last sessions, we had a patch come out, the version 1.07 patch, which basically just made the AI... Uh, a couple of bug fixes, but mostly made the AI more nasty... Uh, when fighting inside ships. So let's find out how many more men we can get uh, murdered as a result of that. Uh, one quick housekeeping thing. I did have a request from the YouTube VODs to add, let me see, Sophia, yeah you need a new name. Uh, we had another volunteer and who am I? to say no to that. So, Corporal, you are now Corporal Dex Odrick. And let's make sure to get another quick peek. Gun rifle, machine gunner, rocket launcher, shotgun, snipers, Rifle, shotgun, sniper. Alright, that looks like a reasonable loadout. And how long will it take us to reach our very first Corvette crash site? Seven hours. In seven hours it will be dark there. So let's just do this. Uh, let's fast forward, fasting forward, fasting forward. And no, not airstrike would be bad. Go, go, Power Rangers! Of course we want to engage. Why else would we send the transport if we didn't want to engage the crash site? That would just be silly. Do, 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 do. Alright, let's go ahead and get loaded in here. Uh, fun things about Corvettes. Let's think. I believe they're the first ship on which Androns can appeal, or can appear. Always, always fun shooting them many, many times with ballistics, uh, as they are the only race of aliens in the game that has uh, armor. Uh, what else do we have going on for them? Oh, and of course, uh, officers. So. More fun psionics if it's seasons. And if it subs, we'll just blow them up. Could potentially be Reapers, though, if it was on a terror mission. Alright. Spunky. You know what? Let's move. And it is Seasians. Zero percent. You have a shot. I have a shot. That is a reasonably high percentage shot from here. Hmm. England, or do I want to move my machine gunner there and let him let She Hulk suppress it? Do I even have enough turn units to do that? Yes, barely. 20% hit chance, not bad. Alright, and we shot the heck out of some cover. Um. Eeny meeny miny. Slightly less likely to get flanked from that direction, I think. And take a knee. You fired, you fired. Well, before we do that, 
Let's... Just a dude. Let's move our... S oh, Private Hesmer, I forgot about you. I brought two snipers, didn't I? Alright, we'll park one sniper over here. Just as well let Senior Sungif push forward a little bit. Sungif, 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 whichever. Uh, really don't want to stay this clustered. You know, let's be paranoid about the possibility of Stionix making something go horribly, horribly wrong. And we're just gonna stole that rocket launcher until we need it. If we even need it. Um, be more Androns and subs that I would be having desires to launch, launch many rockets at. Caesians tend to be at least one out in the open. Easy enough to kill that rockets tend to be more or less unnecessary until aside from officers. And I would rather avoid blowing up the inside of the UFO if possible. Because the entire reason for coming here well not the entire reason, but the primary reason for coming is to loot and pillage. But you need to loot and then pillage, because if you pillage first, then you just destroy everything and... Well, then what was the point of coming if you're just going to blow everything up? Actually, how far does this... Okay, that tile is the edge there. Well, that was probably not the best thing I could have done for his life expectancy, but... Oh well. So at least the immediate... ...is clear. So we'll move you up. Can you get somewhere useful? And a poke up shuffle to the door. Ah, uh, where to, where to, where to? I should send at least two guys up around just in case they do run into anything to make sure that flank is actually cleared. That moves you in the right direction and gives you cover. Oh, let's be a bit on the aggressive side, I guess. But not too crazy. And yeah, no point in moving a rocket launcher up, so we'll let you hang back. Bum 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 bum. didn't hit whatever it was shooting at, or at least didn't kill it. Alright. 
And it's the one downside to playing with actual Iron Man toggled on as opposed to manually just not reloading is that it takes longer for turns to load. Hmm. Somewhere like there, no. I'm not sure if that space is actually safe, though. What I can do, let's do this instead. 50-50. Now that it's facing me. <laughs> Um, don't want to take a low percent shotgun shot. That just feels like a bad idea. That feels like an even worse idea. Um, <laughs> yeah, running all through that just feels like that's going to end badly. I can do is this and just back off and prepare to engage it next turn not far from ideal but should work in the meantime I don't have anyone moving that can really spot in the other direction so let's do this really do not like being in this space. There's no good way to advance that knowing that this is occupied. Uh, so... Take a knee. I kind of don't want to advance too aggressively through here. So, I won't. Yeah, we'll just be cautious. Took a couple steps and burst fired, so it should not be able to reaction fire on me. So we can give it laser hugs. Yay, laser hugs, assuming anyone can actually reach it. Laser hugs, laser hugs, laser hugs are the best hugs. I mean, until you get plasma hugs. Plasma hugs are pretty great. Come on. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, it's just hiding behind that stump. I couldn't, could not see it looking at it. I'm like, um, it was there. So... Niff. Ah, oh, well. Frick. <laughs> it appears we overestimated the amount of damage we had done to it previously. So, 42, do we shoot twice?
Hmm. Two shots at relatively low percentage or one higher percentage shot. I know I hit it at least once. I could also grenade it at this range and be relatively safe, right? Well, this could end rather poorly. Take a knee. And boom. <laughs> boom. Yay, boom. I would have felt really stupid if that had um, gone horribly, horribly wrong. Okay, that's a civilian. Good, that means this area should be relatively safe. Because the civilian was able to go into it and not be horribly murdered. That should give me decent cover. How far... Oh, this map goes on for quite a ways. Okay. Well, let's work on spotting that then. Hmm. Okay, two snipers and a rocket launcher. Definitely not a good config. I'll have to do as one or the other, I think. Two is just it's too much heavy weapon and just slows me down too much. So you're good. Snipers really have no reason to not come this way. And that's everyone. All right. Oh. Well, hello there. Pleasantly surprised that didn't go a lot worse. That may be cause to pull out the rocket launcher, just because I have no one in position to really support. And because, hey, why bring it if you're not going to use it? So... First, yeah, and I can't really. Nope, that would just let you leave you standing in the open. And then not have you stand out in the open for another turn. Alright, what else do we have here? Just make sure that's clear. I 
actually could move. Nope. Well, that's... And back to cover we go. Okay. There is Mr. England. Uh, go get behind the door. Take a knee. And we're going to play some peekaboo in a moment. That area seems to be doing rather well. Uh, we'll just catch up to the rest of the party then. And end turn. Alright, unnerved isn't really a big deal, it's just a morale hit. It makes it uh, Well, shit. Ninety-nine. That's... unfortunate. So, one sniper suppressed, and one... No, rocket launcher. Dead. Well, a boo. It was rather unfortunate considering he had a solid freaking wall in front of him, but. Oh well. Right, let's see if we can find where the heck that guy is at now. The fire will leave me with 45. Suppression achieved. Peekaboo. Oh! Super peekaboo! <laughs> uh, let's. No shot. <laughs> yeah, let's, um. Let's get you moved up and in, into the fight then. And how far forward can this guy go? Yeah, your mobility kind of sucks. And this at least kind of gets you in play. Okay. Really would not want to move out into the open. Ah, before I have a chance to forget, get you the heck back into cover. You are so thoroughly suppressed, you can't really do anything useful. Hmm. It's already suppressed. You would have a 38% chance. Problem is that there's a dude right around the freaking corner from you. If I move here, would it still have enough turn units to move and fire? Possibly, but it would be a lot more exposed to a response from me as well. Oh, before I do something really stupid. Peekaboo! Bye bye And if I move back to here, I can just step around and laser me in the face. If I just shut the door, there's a reasonable chance that it just opens it and might come through and shoot me in the face.
Um, yeah, I can't really grenade it reasonably. Let's try this. Let's just try dashing to better cover. And then taking an E. I think I bring the rifle forward. Seems about as good a plan as any. Take a knee, turn around. And let's see how badly this goes. Yes, one soldier winds up dead, although everyone's in pretty solid cover, so. <laughs> Except for Sungif. Well, crap. I may end up retrieving the rocket launcher and just blowing the end off of that building. That may very well end up being a thing. If you had to turn She-Hulk around, she might not be able to step out and fire again. Nah, we'll find out in a minute, I guess. Um, hmm. Is Spunky going to panic? Because he just would have taken the morale hit from... Does not look like it. Which is good. No, nope, there he goes. Well, nay, that could have been a lot worse. Nah, not enough turn units left to do that and do anything else that's actually useful, so. Smear. Steps forward. Sixty percent hit chance, but that would not get me a kill oh, if I drop my weapon. Losing was thirty. Not enough to do it and get back into cover. Well, if I can't get back into cover, then doing it would be kind of stupid. As such. Alright, no more peekaboo. Uh, who else do I have left? Hulk doesn't really have a good play. There, that. I th think there's only one there, which means I can go there, be able to step forward, and then suppression fire in the direction. Um. 
not an amazing play, but it at least, well, do I rather be behind or in front? I think around the back. That should, yeah, definitely around the back, because I've already got a reasonable amount of firepower up this way. So, let's see how badly this goes. Kind of expecting to lose Spunky here, but we'll see. You know, I really wish just being affected by any psionic attack gave you the bravery boost instead of it having t to result in panic. Hey, did not expect Spungy to survive that turn, so that's, that's good, that's a, a pleasant surprise. Now, if we can maybe possibly please have some figuring out where the bleep that dude is. Yeah, go retrieve your, go back to where your weapons are at least, and then turn. through here, but half return units, minus three, I want to move to like there. Well, that little bastard is just hiding down here, isn't he? That should be reasonably safe from there. Cannot reload from the ground, huh? That's kind of annoying. That's what I think about that. We're just going to wreck the whole damn place. Can I see that way at all? Not sure how, but the game says yes. And Mr. England is fine. You can't turn, you started to turn. Everyone's tucked away somewhere. Okay. Because I'm gonna just blow the hell out of the end of that building. Because hey, they can't use it as cover if it's no longer standing. Or did it retreat back into the ship? Hmm. Okay, that sounded like something with a machine gun killing an alien which has me very, very perplexed. Wait, 
how do I even approach the ship without having cleared this? Do I? Do I just camp the UFO entrance? That is probably a terrible idea. Letting he a very few turn units. super encumbered I can make you? And the flashbangs is... Well, uh, you're only losing one turn unit now. I'm okay with that. Absolutely no good way to advance on that ship there. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Wow, no, the AI doesn't know where you are at all. Unless it can see you, huh? Wow, that's... That is certainly something. Not actually sure which is better at this point. Do I need 60 turn units to fire twice? Do I have anyone else I can even... What does Mr. England need to remove that? Chunk of wall. Well, that dead guy only had a ballistic, so... It's only a 15% shot. That shot is not even worth taking, then.
59% shot. That is very much worth taking. And you shot the dirt. You already fired. This is starting to go poorly. Okay. So we're down three men. Thinking we put what is Something trying to shoot at me through a wall? Oh no, there's a drone out in the open. Okay, well let's move up some... help for that. Do I bother moving up and dropping the rocket launcher? Go pick up your rifle. Because that is very much the right tool for killing a drone. Can I pass through there? Yes. Okay. Not walking through the fire, because not walking in fire is very important. Nope, but if it moves this way any further... Nope. Okay, so you basically don't have shots at anything from there. What about from here? Am I an idiot? Did I think I heard the sound of an alien dying when it was actually a civilian getting shot a couple turns ago? I think I might just be stupid. And my machine gunner. Just because, let's take a peek. Bum 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 bum. Let's take back that comment I made at the start of this mission about not really needing rocket launchers. No, it turned out keeping that guy alive would have been ex exceedingly valuable. Alright, let's go drone hunting. Snipe the drone. Yeah. Have 47 turn units, which gives us enough to take a knee. And then get back the heck behind a wall. Yeah, that's 
not even worth doing. Uh, let me see, 40 turn units. 34 to work with. Exactly enough to do that. <laughs> exactly enough to shoot a wall. Hmm. Other than to maybe wreck some cover, but I don't really care about wrecking cover at this point because I'm not firing at it with anyone else. And let's be stupid and scout with the machine gun. Because, hey, why the hell not? Alrighty then, well we at least hit the drone once. A couple more hits and it should be dead. Depending on what I hit it with. And I could send someone up to retrieve the laser shotgun that was dropped. Yeah, I'll probably have Hesmir do that to let him drop his sniper rifle and then go retrieve the shotgun and then figure out how the heck we're going to enter a corvette which is one of the more annoying ship layouts in the entire game I think Shotguns lead the way again. Um, no, six rounds last a long time with sniper rifles. Could make it all the way to the door, but not going to. Be very, very sad if there's something hiding in that corner. And who's left? Mr. England. Who is actually in position. So what do I get to play with inside? At least one officer? Probably an officer. Maybe just a scion, but probably an officer. And a couple of blue shirts. We've killed one drone and... What is it? One... Two... Three... Three or four blue shirts? Warriors. Hmm. So there's good possibility that the answer to what's in there is a heck of a lot of stuff. So shotguns. There's five shots left. I'll take two reloads while I'm at it. Do I want any grenades? I'm not carrying a rocket launcher, so I should be good with a couple grenades. Two of 
need you to do it. Alright, let's... Begin beginning, I guess. Okay. Scouting machine gunner sees nothing. Um, I'm gonna wait for my other shotgun to get in place before I really start trying to... clear this thing. So the question, do I try to play door games, or do I just blow that inner door and assault from the outside? Hmm. This could be interesting. Can you get into place? You can at least get into place. I'm gonna let you open the door. Because you cannot move and do anything useful. I'm going to need to just crash this hard. I'm going to keep it open and give myself the possibility of reaction fire. But it would only be one low reaction, so that's not what I wanted. Inventory guy with a rifle. Ah, uh, 64 reflexes. You know, it's just not worth taking any risks at this point. Sniper rifle's pretty much going to be useless from here, so... frag my way to victory. I would prefer to not com well to not completely explode the officer because he probably didn't pay any attention but he probably has a weapon I haven't captured already. But at this point I'd say not not getting murdered in the face is probably the primary objective. Hmm. Interesting. Internal door is still open.
God, this is so begging for a grenade tit. This is probably a terrible plan, but I'm not really sure how else to do this other than to be at least moderately aggressive from here, so. C4 is getting more and more tempting, though. And just blowing the heck out of areas of the interior. Maybe a rocket launcher wouldn't be so bad. Interesting. We shouldn't have been able to see that door open, but... So what you're in here for, right, to suppress it and start wrecking some cover. Find out if that officer runs around and murders. I think if it moves up and shoots, though, it would be pretty well trapped there, so. While it will get one guy, I would be able to respond. That would still be a pretty terrible. result from my end, but hey. Alright. more with feeling. That side is clear. This side is very much not. From there to there would be line of sight, line of fire. Which means at some point, I'm going to need to just grenade there. Uh, do you have enough turn units? Yes, you do. Well, I'll have to pull, pull the machine gunner back and then move up with the uh, shotgun combo. Door opens. Okay, so if the officer is still hiding there, that confirms we have at least one more friend inside in need of hugs. Do do do. <laughs> Need 
you do not have enough turn units to reload left. So, shoot. Reload. Shoot again. Um, no, let's not get too greedy. Oh, shoot, guess I should have. Oh well. It's suppressed, so it can't really advance and shoot. Keeping it pinned down needs to then be the priority going forward. Once it's suppressed, it is so much less of a threat. Alright, 92 morale. You should have, even with a close range bonus to its attack, you should have a pretty good chance of holding that one off. And if not, you suck. Come on, Sergeant Scarlet, be a beast. You are a... huh. Well, bleep. Because the problem just became... it has a chance to recharge. It is suppressed this turn. It will have full turn units next turn. Which means I kind of sort it and really, really need to suppress it again. Or I'll step back. I might need to just step back then. Well, let's do this. That was stupid of me. I should have been more cognizant of that as a possibility. <laughs> Good news is, did not really get punished for it. <laughs> slowly, slowly poking through the cover. One of these turns, I will eventually even finish the darn thing. Can it fire a sniper rifle while suppressed? I am not certain. But I do not particularly desire to find out.
Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, crud. Yes, yep, two in the command unit. I was just about to say that when they came out and said hello instead. Bonus points? This first guy should pretty much instantly die. If further bonus, that is a significant increase in aggressiveness from the AI. I can crouch once and shoot this three times, so that seems like a reasonable play. And can you reload? Nope. Hulk smasher of things. Need to be able to close this door still, so take a pot shot, take a knee. <coughs> no, excuse me, take a sneeze. Shut the door. shot already all right I did act with all five it's like uh wait I thought I had more dudes than that and it turns out I do so she hulk and smash we will Probably just try to suppress or kill. Killing is fine too. And then everyone can move in close for hugs. Or just kill it. That works too. Yep, everyone stayed dead. Did anyone get 
Uh, I got a bravery boost for running away. You need to return unit strength to accuracy. Everything else is pretty normal. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> bad. Double bad. Ten aliens killed, though. That's a lot of stuff. I don't even know. What am I researching now? Heavy lasers. Yeah, we'll let that finish. Uh, to the dude hiring screen. Hire more. We lost three. That's pretty awesome. That's... 35 turn units. That's pretty terrible. Marcel looks good. Uh, accurate reflexes. Strength is okay. Nacre is higher, strength is lower. Health, I don't really care about turn units. Let's go with those three then. My building. Drone wreckage, Corvette. Am I making stuff? I am not. What I should do, I'm gonna wanna add labs here soonish. Is that first thing to build? Living quarters are cheap. Lab is not bad. Um, those will be built by the end of the month so then I can hire scientists. I'm going to need more fox rods before soon too so we'll slap down another hangar. The main base is pretty well okay for now. Uh, I have empty hangers. Do I want to build fox rods now or wait? How many do I have? I think I only have two. Yeah, I need to build at least one more. Aircraft. Fox trucks. It won't it'll take me a while to get to researching shrikes. Rapid lasers. Good. Research, or directional thrusters. Wait, I'm not researching alloys at all. Living quarters. Do I really want to build a second, third lab? I don't know that I'll occupy it right away, but. I'll probably regret doing that. I should build precision lasers. Okay. Wait, am I not building? Oh, that was stupid. I signed it at the base that doesn't have... Like, why am I not spending money? Building a plane on the 26th. Okay, that's actually kind of stupid. Do I get my money back if I cancel? Nah, screw it. I'll just live with it. Intercept. Two foxtrots. torpedoes enough to do this? It's been a while since I've done math. Yep, good. Squadron, select new target. Let's see if you have enough fuel to do that. Do I run a Corvette? I should run that. I should run that Corvette site. Let us 
Engage. Do, 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 do. Wait, that just jumped backwards. I don't think that should be a thing, but whatever. Off. Oh, afterburner is very much back on. And run, run, run away. Yes, return to base. Execute tactical maneuver, brave Sir Robin. I'm bad at math. 83%, so my one remaining torpedo should be enough to down that if I don't run out of fuel first. And if he runs out of fuel first, well, that would make me very sad because I just wasted hours of flight time instead of just refueling and coming back out and murdering it. Bum 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 Intercept. No, that's a refueling. Fine. You know, I'm just not sure what to expect here, so you can just go bye-bye, and you can just burn in. We spin around in circles. Now, which of you is the more favorable? Desert? Favorable? Desert, also favorable. Um, whatever. I'll airstrike you. I'll do the other one. To the dude scream, dude. All right, Dex, you're in. And if we're gonna start training people, let's just send a bunch of privates along because that makes sense. Marcel. Ah, let's go Marky Mark. And Lewis Lee. <laughs> now, since the chat is fairly quiet today, he's British. Sir Cannon of Fodder. <laughs> oh, I love it. Alright, so I have an assault, one machine gunner, one assault, sniper. Um, you actually have pretty high. Uh, change role for you. I think a rocket launcher is still just an all-around good idea. So, rockets. Explosions. Nope. Uh, grenades. Smoke's probably more useful. Uh, you can cover other people's movements. Uh, Assault, one heavy weapons, shotgunner, sniper. Mm. 
Their time units are good but not spectacular. Weapons, lasers, pew pew, and some less grenades. Ah, uh, you know what, let's just set this as the default. I'll actually use the Rifleman template. That's interesting. I'm not sure what weapon that's trying to equip then. Uh, set equipment as default. The one less smoke. Wait. Crap. I just did that backwards, didn't I? Set it as default. Set as default, and then drop a bunch of stuff. And then next we have... I know, I know, I know. Weapons, ballistics, shotgun, one of these, two of these. Oh, you still have leftover carrying room, huh? Nope, that was exactly enough. Okay. And... Sir Fodder. Ah, uh, weapons. One of you, one of you. Reach. And... Ah, oh, screw it. Let's do that. Alright, now let's play out the rest of the wave. almost month then. Next month I'm gonna want to go up to three foxes at each base. Also just keep the one uh, condor. Uh, intercept. Can I intercept now? I can. Go, go, the little condor that could. I think I can, I think I can. It's not something you'll probably see very often. A single condor auto-resolving a corvette to death. Uh, my other foxtrot finished, so you will relocate you to North America. That'll give me two and two. Ooh, that was a rough enough wave. My monthly forecast is now a negative. Well, poo. All right, uh, that'll do it for this brief session this morning. Might be back on later today. Um, if not, whenever it will be, our next session will resume with Hopefully a slightly less disastrous attempt at assaulting a con or a corvette than the last one did. So until then, good hunting. <laughs>